Hello and welcome to issue number 118 of Headline Heroes, a comedy podcast where we take today's headlines to create a comic book origin story. My name is Drew Mick. I'm Nathan Haynes. And I'm Tanner Ackerman. Uh, Tanner, yeah, I know you to be a bit of a lawn boy. So are you going to be able to get out there one last time before Saturday? I I think I think this should impact you, but um, we might get snow on Saturday. I don't know about Nebraska. Oh, oof. Um, we actually might get some Friday. Oh shit! Well, you always be able got to, a fucking one up us. You gonna be able to get there? <laughs> get out there? Uh, or have you yeah, officially I, done I the last to. mow of the season? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, I do need to get it done. Um. Shit, I didn't. That's that's a, it, this is a real question. I don't know. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna have time oh. to get it done before Friday. But also, it's like a a twenty percent chance of snow. You guys, and even if it does higher. come, it'll probably melt. Yeah. Like, was reminded because I sent you. You were talking about gifts earlier, and I remind, remember I sent you that. Uh, what was it? Uh, beer. Oh, you sent me a cup holder. Cup holder. That's it. That's the word. Have you have you have you sent that out for its maiden voyage? Yeah, I did use it. Did I not tell you that? Oh, you maybe you did. Okay. Yeah, wait, we never talked about this on the podcast, though. Did it happen? I think we were talking about... Oh, it was a long time ago. We were talking about yeah. mowers, and like we said cup holders on mowers, and Tanner, you were incredulous thinking that we actually had that. And then I actually sent you one. Yeah, like, w- less than like two days later, I had one in the mail. Yeah, yeah. And I was very confused, because I was like, why the fuck did Kelsey buy this? <laughs> it's, well, it's meant for baby strollers, for sure. Yeah, um, it uh, it worked. I'm sure it's like just your mower is just bumping everywhere. It's not the most feasible <laughs> it, thing. It was. I I had a drink with a cap on it. Ah, that'd do it. But it did. It did work. Um, and that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> okay, good gift, I'd say. Yeah, it was a solid gift. All right, Drew, you don't have to mow anymore, right? No, I don't. Um, I live in a townhouse now that we rent, so. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. I assume your landlord just comes and does the little yeah, strip of grass the behind the houses manager, and stuff. I don't have much grass, so it wouldn't be. It would be seriously ten minutes to mow. Yeah, I was gonna. I was like, is he gonna have to get like? He's gonna go out there with a pair of scissors or or like what? I, is, would, I would get one of those uh, ones that doesn't have gas. It just you know goes back and forth. A goat. Yeah, I'd get a goat. <laughs> I'd actually release this chinchilla out onto the grass and she would eat it all it'd be good i bet alexi would love that yeah i'm sure and then bye bye chinchilla and bye bye drew i think yeah, yeah I, I think, think that would be well. i'm not fucking helping you move already drew yeah, <laughs> i yeah. just got you in there well let's see i've i've moved four times i think in the past year and a half so i think oh. i think we can get another one soon here so yeah why not go for five you mark know? your calendars um yeah but uh it's um do you guys i mean i it's a bit cold, but um, that 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 usually means Christmas is coming. But no, we got a few before that. Um, Halloween's coming. Tanner, you gave us a small update off mic about your your sp- spooky watch. I guess I don't know. Oh, my like a horror movie watch. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about a like again a, a watch on his wrist that was especially <laughs> spooky. He does have that. It's made from real human bones. Uh, yeah, I have not succeeded in watching a horror movie every single day in October yeah. so far, but I've probably watched... Today's the ninth. I've probably watched nine horror movies. I had my horror movie weekend already oh, at the okay, start of October. So. There you go. So. Um, I did have a question. I um, I think my office is doing some sort of party uh, for Halloween, and like co- costumes are optional, so I should maybe think about it. I don't know, but uh, what, what, what do you guys... What are you guys going as this year? What do you you guys are going out trick or treating? What what should what should I maybe do? Hmm. How much work? I mean, do you want to put a lot of work into it, or are we? Kind no. Of, okay, so very low <laughs> effort. I mean, that's just good to know. That's good to know. And I will not shave. I will not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what? You could just shave, and that would be that would be oh, it. No scary, one would recognize you. Scary Drew. That would be scary Drew. I haven't been clean shaven. Uh, so you in want like something two topical always. Mm-hmm. So what's in the news lately? Uh, uh, I'm just gonna Google news real quick. It's it's abysmal. I don't <laughs> news. You could go as um. You hear about this Trump guy? Yeah, I hear. I hear he's gonna be close to us tomorrow, Nate. Yeah, he will be. I guess. Well, I don't know. I, I th- okay. I mean, 
podcast aside, I really don't know what's going to happen because they're refusing to like. There's this whole yeah. standoff between the city of Minneapolis saying he has to pay up front because he For has security. shorted like ten towns and not paid them. So and he's like, I like. Does he just not? I, I don't know what happens then. I don't know. It's I'm you know I'm watching it with popcorn. It's gonna be great. Well, they got that that big baby inflatable outside of a on top of a gay bar right now. So I'm loving this. It's great. What what bar is it on top the, of the the saloon? Oh really? Okay. Yeah. I didn't see it when I was there. The other. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have it up yet. <laughs> You could go as a big peach. Now, why that? There's a lot of uh, talk about this impeachment. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually very good. Uh, I was thinking more James and the. Yeah, I was going to say, and <laughs> if you don't want anyone to think it's political, you could just say you're a big fan of James and the Giant Peach. Yeah. And movie James that came out in 1999. God, okay. Remember when you were talking about? Let's let's take a little small dip in the trauma corner. That rhino, very scary for me. Whatever was in that bag that was like full of like glowing bugs that weirded me out. I was ninety six. I was three years off. The the bag that was glowing worms, right? Yeah, weren't they grossed me out? Oh Oh, damn, that rhino's spooky. I don't like that at all. It 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 scared me. Is I'm I'm. Also, the claymation was like the story is fun and the bugs are very nice. The bugs also kind of creepy. Yeah, I don't like the spider lady. That centipede. Oh, I bet you don't like this. But she was like the nicest one. I know in <laughs> French. <laughs> Wasn't the centipede also like this like cigar gangster like guy? It's a good okay, flick. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you guys a picture. Okay, but uh, maybe I should be one of those James and the Giant Peach things. That's an idea. That's topical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. All right, yeah, Nate has sent us a picture. So this is the the is this the rhino that you remember, Drew? Yeah, absolutely. Did you ever notice that actually behind him to the right is Thor in the cloud? There? Shut the <laughs> fuck up! All right, I'm gonna have to edit this out now. What is the bit? I don't get God it. Damn it! Oh, I'm absolutely sure we've talked about this before, but okay. So back it's in this- 2010. <laughs> When the Marvel Cinematic Universe was Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, and maybe Iron Man 2, people were reaching for connections across movies, even though, like, it, they weren't there. Like, people thought they saw Captain America's shield in Hulk. I mean, it was not a deleted scene, but in the fight where he fights the Abomination, people thought he was there. And then there was a scene in the Hulk where it's raining and thundering, and this guy made a whole video about how he sees Thor falling out of the sky behind the Hulk. <laughs> oh my god and it pisses me off and, and it's Tanner, awful quality and also it's right after uh hulk um throws a giant boulder and what's falling is actually that boulder so <laughs> and it's so and he has music playing at the same time too back I'm pretty when, sure this is the one i'll i'll recognize it as yep this is absolutely it okay uh, this is meant for those of you who own the Incredible Hulk DVD, because obviously you're not going to be able to see it on this video, but I can direct you and show you where to look at, and it's pretty clear and pretty obvious to me, um, unless we do the same drugs. So, the Hulk is standing here. The thunder and lightning scares him. He gets pissed off because he got punked. So he throws the rock out into the air because it's, you know... Who thinks the thunder and lightning is the, uh... Monster. So he throws it up there, and I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. So I'm like, maybe this um, thunder and lightning is kind of a foreshadow for Thor. So I look in the sky to see if there's any um, silhouettes or any hints that, you know, Thor, anything like that. And I put it in slow-mo, and what I saw was kind of interesting. And that is... After this lightning hits in the sky on the right top corner there, something falls out of the sky God in a Cloverfield it. style. And there it How is. There video? it is, falling. It came out right after, probably 2009. It was before Thor came out. But people knew Thor was going to have a movie in 2011. I'm just like recording just like his TV screen with a camera. Yeah, man. 2008. It was a different time. I love the um, comments that are eight months ago. 
2019 anyone? <laughs> you lol. I want what you are smoking. Yeah, it's just it was so cool. dumb. So anyway, anyway I videos. just like to bring it up. Kind of like how it's kind of like it's kind of like the um uh Marty McFly came back yeah. to the yeah. state. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm, it's a it's a raz and I'm definitely guilty of it. Um speaking of which, do you know what day it is? Lee Ferrickson Day. It is Lee Ferrickson Day, yeah. Um boy, now that I look at that rhino, Nate, the the quality is just not that good. Do but like that's even like the le- here. Um like there are some other spookier pictures like Yeah. Like this one is a little lower quality, but like you can definitely see where the spookiness would come from. Like look at that fucking thing. No yeah. thanks. The, okay, so the one oh, that yeah. you set the first time was when he's like confronting the rhino. Um and then this one is early on when it's still hidden a little bit, so it's like ominous. Oh man, take him take oh. me back. God, what were we talking about? Costume ideas. Um oh, yeah, you see so you could go as a giant peach. I could go as the rhino. And then just like roundabout way of saying this is about the impeachment. And get real indignant if people don't get it. Like yeah. you get real condescending. Yeah. <laughs> you should I I think you should do that, but then not even be a peach. Just like well, yeah, be, be the rhino. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah you're the rhino, the rhino, right. Yeah. Be the rhino. Yeah. Just, you don't get it? Okay, yeah, it's the well, rhino I from guess. the sky and James and the Giant Peach, and, like, we're in the we're in a climate where impeachment is, like, maybe on the horizon. So, <laughs> you just don't get and, it. And uh, you ever hear somebody called it James Comey? Uh, <laughs> Should have been a pretty <laughs> obvious clue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the rhino is indicative of the climate right now. But actually, I'm, I'm thinking I might um, buy an afro and go as Bob Ross, I think. Oh, God. Okay. I was like, I thought you were going to be like, I, I literally thought you were going to say any black person. And I was like, Drew, you can't. I thought you, you were going to say like, Julius dude. Irving or something. No, I want to go as uh, Bubblegum Tate. <laughs> yeah, but no, Bob Ross. Yeah, I guess that's that's okay. Bob Ross is pretty good and pretty cheap too. There's like really a little paint board and brush if you want to go. If you look up, like I've literally searched for it before, um, costumes um, with beards because I will not shave my beard. There's not many. It's just like Viking, pirate, and I'm just like, no, that's generic. I don't want that. I want a personality. You could be Rocky and Rocky Four when he's training before the fight. Uh, he has to shave for the fight. I could also reuse, of course, my old Captain America costume, but he doesn't have the shield at that point, you know? Yes, yeah, it wouldn't make t- sense canonically. Wouldn't, wouldn't make sense. Do you guys have uh, any costumes lined up? Oh, uh, honestly? No. Uh, <laughs> Nate, pull, Nate, pull out that old Dharma jumpsuit. I still have it. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Dharma I, being from uh, the TV show Lost. <laughs> I actually was like, when I moved in with Libby, I'm like, I can probably get rid of this. And she's like, no, don't get rid of it. I'm like, okay. Like, this, I just, tried. It's so seriously I'll just an it. easy costume. Eventually, it's going to swing around where people are going to be like, oh, shit, Lost. That's it's going to be like 70 years, years from now. It's still like it's 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 reached the time period where if I wear like it has always been a good costume in that like you always get somebody who's like oh shit i love your costume yeah there's always a hardcore fans out there and it's not really seen very much anymore so it, it always well you, when it lacks in the quantity of recognition you, it makes up for it in quality of the recognition. don't That's um don't they have like dharma issued dharma issue initiative issued like beer or food or whatever isn't that what uh, it is I don't know if you can buy them. But like I, I I was just thinking that I could get you a coaster that just said beer on it with Dharma Initiative and then you could just carry that around. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever or you go to those those parties yeah, that's what I meant. I'm sorry, a koozie. I was like, why would you just carry a coaster? <laughs> you hey, don't carry check your out, coasters you can around. put beer on this. <laughs> when you show up to parties, just pull out a coaster. It's just a huge fucking move. Big flex. On huge. them. Huge. Um Tanner, what about you? Uh, last year when we were handing out candy to trick or treaters, I just wore some cat ears Kelsey gave me. That's cute. Uh, so can I wear them again? I don't know. I got a Rocky Balboa robe now that oh, was oh, you should given to me at my bachelor that. party. I may just wear that. Now, have you thought about combining that cat Rocky? <laughs> I did just now think of that. Yes, <laughs> that'd be real cute. Uh, this this I just was reminded of something else. Uh, do you, 
Nate, does the no solicitors sign um, extend to trick or treaters? The uh, well, they're not here. selling anything. Do you just people tap, are allowed should, to come to my door? I just you should still tap on the sign things. when they show up. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> <laughs> just hold the ba- a bowl of candy in my hand, eat from it, and then just tap the sign. <laughs> no solicitors. I asked because you also you got uh, Tanner one of those. So maybe maybe you won't get any trick or treaters, Tanner. Is what I'm saying. Kelsey won't let me put it up. Why? Uh, Because Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts are in the neighborhood. Oh, and they sell you cookies and popcorn. If there are any, if they're real Girl Scout and Boy Scouts, you'll find them. You don't. They don't need to come to your door. (laughs) I've been to bars and they're just there. Like forty five dollars on pretzels from a Boy Scout. (laughs) Hell yeah, we had a big intro about that. It was good because I thought it was like half the price, and I. He's like, oh, no, it's this. I'm like, oh, shit. Well, I'm too far in now. <laughs> you were writing the check. Uh, or no, you had written the check. God, you yeah. big idiot. And I had to That's rip that check up and write funny. another one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, admittedly, as you pointed out, I would have done the same. <laughs> like too far. Exactly. In. It's so awkward. Yeah. Hey, we should maybe do that podcast we uh, do. Yeah. One quick question, though. Yeah, though. Okay. Do you think you're going to have trick or treaters this year? This year, this is this is the first time you're in an actual home in a neighborhood on Halloween, right? Yeah, it is, is right? actually. Um, there have been many years where I in my apartment that I've bought candy just in case. Um, but you both saw my apartment in Waverly, and I had candy there. But who was going to show the up? The apartment I don't where they know. would have had to go inside the building and yeah. come up the stairs. Well, it was yeah, the they, only that's apartment most... like in that building. Yeah, and if you looked at it, you wouldn't believe anyone lived there. But um, I had candy. So, um, but yeah, I might have candy. I'll have to go get some. Um, get a no solicitor yeah, sign. You, know, mm-hmm. you don't want to get caught with your pants down. I yeah, mean, and I will have my pants down. I'm going to be pantsless Bob Ross. Happy trees. It's my art. Kids, <laughs> you don't understand. You don't get it. Um, and wave at the parents. But yeah, uh, we, we should probably do that podcast. Here we should we do that podcast? Nate, can you tell us what that podcast is? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll see if I can help. So, okay. Drew, every week you, Tanner, and myself get together. We grab some strange and bizarre headlines from the internet, combine that with strange and bizarre headlines that people have sent in to us. Uh, we put all those headlines in a list. We pick one at random, and you, we use that as an origin story for a superhero or a supervillain. Now, uh, Tanner, what did we make last time, and what are we making this time? All right, so last time we made the uh, superhero, the channel surfer, who was the guy that had the TV for a head and had TV powers. Um, So that means this week we're going to make a villain, and the article I've already picked out ahead of time is number 19 for you guys. And the headline is, Creepy Dolls Mysteriously Appear in Missouri County. Hmm. And there is an auto playing video, Tanner. Oh, good yes, to know. To warn you. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man. Uh, this I, one comes to us from. Videos in the way. Okay, cool. The, uh, this one comes to us from Carl. What? Uh, thank you, Carl. I was, I was annoyed because I thought the vi- the auto playing video popped up over the image and wouldn't go away, but then I see that the image just moved down. Okay. Uh, oh, the auto playing video is about Turkey for me. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? For what in God's not related name? to the article at all. It's about the Turkey ground forces invading Syria. I love you, Fox News. This is great. Okay. Uh, thank you, Carl, for this. Uh, still, still raining, raining high, raining on top. Um, okay. This is kind of similar to last week's, except it's dolls instead of TVs. Oh, and they're life-size yep. dolls. And it's around town instead of on porches. Yeah. That's terrifying. Um, and this is a villain? Yes, this is a villain. Conveniently. Okay. Um, is it someone who possesses dolls? Once upon a time, we did one about some doll mannequin or mannequin of some kind. I don't remember yeah, what that the, was what about. You, oh, um, no, I'm, I think I'm thinking of the corduroy cow, the puppet. That's what I meant. I'm thinking of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Why are they saying life-size dolls when the picture they show is a very small doll? Doll. 
like child life size, I guess is what they mean. That's just that's just a doll. I don't this is weird. Oh my god. Actually if you scroll down a little more, there's a picture of a doll hanging over a traffic light, a crosswalk post. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh god. And some of them have heads cut off. We should have saved this one for Halloween. Yeah, I mean it's pretty creepy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so person leaves dolls around for little kids to to take home oh and is it are they the dolls start acting weird when they're in the house are they like somehow or affecting the kids yeah that's kind of i was thinking maybe there's yeah this is okay so the first thing i thought of <laughs> it as a kid i had this thing called my buddy doll and it was basically a life-size doll that everyone in my family hated except me. Yeah, you're going to want to look this one up. I am. Wow. I got it. Th- I think I had one of these. This you seems had so one too? familiar. It was red overalls. Um, I, I don't know. I got, My buddy doll. Oh, yeah. This is the exact one. I so had. familiar to me. That is weird. I'm pretty sure I had this one. I feel like this is what Chucky had to have been based off of. I think so, because Chucky keeps coming up. And he was a buddy. Yeah, he, he was. was a buddy. Yeah. Wait, so you're uh, saying yeah, that you a... loved this, but everyone in your family hated it? it? Well, they originally bought it for my brother when he was a little child, and he rejected it right away. But then so they pulled it out for me, and I apparently loved it. Um, it was my, my good, good friend. Well, whatever happened to him? I don't know. My mom probably threw it, over, threw it out like the rest of all my toys. <laughs> yeah. Um, definitely didn't give it to my sister. She would have not liked this at all. Also, that would have been a little weird. I don't know. But I remember I had a little little. Dude, this thing's um, creepy. Yeah, I, I looking back, yeah, you know, a lot of things we say and do as as children are are, are creepy and bad in hindsight, like this and Transformers and a lot of things that I regret. You regret Transformers? Oh. Transformers three, yeah man. I thought I thought you meant the toys, dude. I love the Transformer toys. Oh no, I I love my Transformer toys. I mean I mean the movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> why is this a Getty? Image? <laughs> it's a, a legit Getty image of a of this doll getting run over by a tricycle. Who does these things? Um. Oh, is okay, it, sorry. Uh, a vintage My Buddy doll lying on the ground after having fallen off a tricycle on a dirt road. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't think that that's what happened. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, caption maker. You know, the it biggest make, it controversy... Makes more sense I was run over by a tricycle. One of the biggest controversies in the world are the photographers who, like, take pictures of those in need and don't do anything. <sighs> who did... Who, what monster took this? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Um, is this someone who can maybe control all toys? And maybe that's our end? That's pretty broad. So why are they leaving the dolls around? Um, so that's why I was saying that I was fucking with the kids. That's true. What, 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 how does well, it, it could be the that they get into the house and then they can control all the toys like once the doll's in the house. Oh, that'd be interesting. If you want to do the controlling the toys route. Otherwise, I was thinking like the kids just kind of start acting up and like a couple of kids that were really good start like egging houses and stuff. And slowly like oh. it's a group of, Makes them of into kids that each- were good start to become bad. And like a couple of a couple of like kids that didn't grab the dolls like have to figure it out and, and solve the, the mystery. <laughs> you love it when we can make small children band up to... <laughs> It's like you, you, you. It's like it. dude. I love eighties kids <laughs> <Yeah>. movies. <laughs> you love your Stranger Things, which is from the eighties, and that's all I know. Rocky, bunch of kids Monster coming Squad. up and fighting, da- taking down Sylvester Stand Stallone. Stand by me. <laughs> that's what that movie's about. <laughs> he tries Stallone. to punch him off, but they, mo- <laughs> they overpower Sylvester him. Stallone we're just taking down ten, kids. Ten kids from the streets. Uh, but kind so okay. Thing. Kids turn naughty, start egging houses, 
doing doing pranks and there's one mastermind behind all this yes all right is it like a magic or is it like a implanted like hypno beam or something that only affects or maybe it's a frequency that only kids can hear well, that's a good way to do it because that's yeah. a real thing yeah um so what's his what's his end game here yeah to <laughs> steal the big yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. of independence yes because is there any other heist i, I don't on, think so on the back of the declaration of independence <laughs> is the recipe there is for a really cool oh a recipe um hydrox cookies going, going for them oh the, long the lost. original uh well what kind of cookie do you call that I was gonna say the original Oreo, but that doesn't make sense. I said Hydrox. It's like a sandwich cookie. I know, oh, but I'm trying to think like what what's the type of cookie do you call it? A sandwich cookie. Yeah, a cookie. sandwich cookie, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, the original sandwich cookie. The OG sandwich cookie brought over by our forefathers. I, I I'm kind of rooting for him now though. Okay, so how is how is getting all these kids going to help him steal the Declaration of Independence with a secret recipe for a hydrox cookie? On uh, in two months, the kids have a field trip to Washington D.C. Oh Thank shit! Thank you, Tanner. That oh. is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's per- and plus, he is, so- <laughs> uh, it's like we- <laughs> it's like turned into Spider Man somehow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, so hypno beam in the dolls. Yep. Get the kids. Get all of them. Kids go to to Washington. Now, why does he want the hydro cookie recipe? Why does this toy mastermind, hypno mastermind, want the the recipe? It's the final ingredient. Because he could sell it for a lot of money. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That. Oh. Straightforward. No. Wait. Final ingredient. We got two different (laughs) two different methods here. Oh, I was a final ingredient in some like. Some uh, potion or some concoction he makes to further his mind control of some sort. Maybe this guy is just real into mind control. Oh, it's the ingredient so he can mind control adults. Yes, that's that's what he. Because right now it's only kids. For some reason, it's that cookie. I also want to point out that I am drinking a beer that is called Oreo Speedwagon. Um, so it's it's got a sandwich cookie right there. What does it the taste front. like? It tastes like an Oreo. It's a chocolate vanilla milk stout. It's very good. It's from Lake Time Bre- Brewery out of. Oh, uh, okay. It's from Clear Lake, Iowa. Oh damn! It's it's Shout very good. Iowa. Yeah, I grabbed it on the way home from uh, Omaha. What? Oh, two weeks ago. Yeah, from your wedding, man. Huh. Okay, good. Because you had come back in between now and then. And yeah, I went back to Omaha upset. because Nate was praising that zoo. I just had to go. <laughs> I had to go hit, hit up that zoo. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I kind of do. Sleep on it. Get it at the zoo. Uh, what were you gonna say? Okay, so Tanner, what was your idea? I don't remember. Oh, he was money. just gonna sell it. It was just money driven. Yours is I like your idea better. Okay. For some reason, it's this this recipe because there's is... other things you could steal for money, and yeah, having to have it for a recipe is a better idea. So, a uh, long time ago, the founding fathers <laughs> realized that the hydrat cookie recipe mm-hmm. uh, could be used. Uh, in a sort of mind control situation. So they wrote it on the back of the Declaration of Independence. In invisible yeah. ink. In invisible ink. They so realized. Like, why? Well, they re- it, was such po- it was so powerful. Abraham Lincoln reached for it. He thought about it, but decided maybe, not to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was really <laughs> tested with that whole uh, <laughs> wanted to. Civil War thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> that thing, yeah. That whole thing. Maybe the reason also that he wants this recipe is that he knows the adults will go for the Hydrox cookies. So it's like a it's it's a it's a efficient. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Me efficient means to infect them all or hypnotize them all. But that's just an added side it's an effect. Efficient system, no vessel. Vessel. There we go. I don't think vessel's quite right. Is that right? Is that what you were thinking of? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know. That's just. I don't know why they put it on the back of the Indo- Declaration of Independence. 
Maybe maybe they were like, this is too powerful. We gotta get we 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 gotta get rid of this recipe entirely. And then one one Declaration of Independence person was secretly in the night put it on the back because they thought and they would pass it down to their family members. Mm. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. One rogue person. Why they did it this way? No one knows. The time <laughs> lost of time. I don't have to answer that. <laughs> That's in a later issue. I'm not on trial. Down the line. I would like to see my lawyer. Am I being detained? <laughs> so what's his plan then? Does he have some kids distracting everyone? Does he have... He needs little kids to get through some security things that are meant for adults, but they didn't think about the little children when they designed the security system. Oh, that's, so they could just like walk under the laser, the laser line things. They could just walk <laughs> right under it. They didn't even consider that an adult could maybe crawl. This security system was, of course, designed by yeah. our forefathers. So, like, 200 years ago? Yeah, something like that. And they couldn't even conceive of there being just, like, short people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no adult person will ever get through this. <laughs> no adult um, standing upright will ever get through this. It's, like, weirdly, like, they have lasers, except it's, like, sunlight being redirected or something to be be very lasery i don't know um but also isn't there a whole scene so in one of the burn you what so i was saying so it doesn't even burn you because mythbusters well, prove that you can't make a a light beam play with us here <laughs> yeah i mean but y- yes it can make a light beam because our forefathers had big technology back then <laughs> okay they had hydrox cookies that could could like hypnotize you tanner come on yeah come on okay isn't there a scene where they're all like trying to get down but they're activating booby traps that were set like 200 years ago 300 yeah and like a like a cave thing area yeah, something like that something like that but for some reason like uh, most of the traps are weight um reliant and height reliant but kids <laughs> They're fine. They they, they oh, yeah, that kids right are away. light. Yeah, um, and that's his plan. Does he succeed? I don't know. Tune in next week. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gets shot by Nicolas Cage right as he's grabbing the decoration. <laughs> Nick, Nick Cage is a snake. Dead. Nice. Yes. <laughs> and he said, and Nick Cage, of course, says his 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 catch line from the whole movie. Which is Tanner, of course. What was that? I told you not to touch the teddy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you got that's it. Some, that's what he Which said for early Eagle Eyed uh, viewers. For Eagle Eyed viewers, they'll they'll um, catch that that's a nod to his character in Con Air. Oh, whoa! Wait, what was his name in Con Air? Uh, ch- convict Sorry. with a mullet. <laughs> Cameron <Jim>. Poe. <laughs> Man, this was a this Wait, was, was a crazy actually? cast. Yeah, what a what a good cast was in this movie. Holy shit, you're not kidding. Yeah, there's some there's some good good actors and actresses in this. Steve Buscemi, Malkovich, good Ving thing. Rhames, fuck yeah, John anyway. Cusack. Yeah, what's he up to? Dave Chappelle, he's in there. Danny Trejo, what? Yeah. Holy shit. I'm going to watch Con Air later. I bet it doesn't stack up. It is a pretty spooky movie, probably. Yeah. No, but okay, so he gets shot. And maybe we leave a cliffhanger where he, like, his body disappears or something. But I think that's that's kind of it then. (laughs) And then Nick Cage shoots the kids. (laughs) (laughs) Because the kids can't be saved. (laughs) It, or, or it this leaves is, it like this is just the way of the world. The final shot of the movie, or is is like him through a s- sniper scope, like on a kid, like looking at a kid, and then he shoots like the doll or something. And he says, "Well, time to clean oh, up." Oh, okay. He's just shooting the toys. He says, "Does he say time to clean up?" Because he's actually the janitor, and like he pulls out a mop and starts mopping the floor again. He puts, yeah, he puts the sniper back into the trash can of his cart. <laughs> and, and pulls out a spray bottle. He just, and... he, 
I told you not to touch the teddy. And then <laughs> credits roll. And yeah. then he solves an amazing equation that's written in the hallway chalkboard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, surprise! It's a, it's a prequel to Good Hunting, <laughs> <laughs> where Nick Cage is playing. <laughs> he sees the math on the board. and He just goes, "I I can't fucking figure this out." I, someone else smarter than me is gonna have to figure this one out. Matt Damon's back there, <laughs> waiting his turn. <laughs> That's what they did. Every janitor had 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 a shot at it. Just kept uh. walking up to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, does he? What's this guy look like, I guess? I think we the more interesting character is the amazing janitor sniper played by Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a backdoor pilot for Nick I kind of like this guy sniper. way more than this weirdo who's using children. Yeah, but he's a hero. We can name them both if you really want to. I kind of yeah. do. Uh, well, he's called the cleaner, of course. This is... Oh, nah, fuck, fuck you. Okay. Well, okay, that's taken care of. Or he's called the mopper because well he because he mops up a uh, uh, KD. His KD no, ratio the is ridiculous. Mr. The cleaner's Clean. smoother. <laughs> uh, and this guy, this weirdo, is called Dolly Farton. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the dolls. Yeah, uh, the doll master. Uh, well, do we do we want to do um, costume and comic book cover before we try and think of the name? Oh, you're right. That's usually Maybe. what we do. Yeah, what's the costume? Uh, it's he's wearing a t-shirt that says Dolly Farton. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dolly Parton, more like Darley Farton. <laughs> weirdly, weirdly bought it at Dolly are, Dollywood. Are, are, What'd you say? Um, man, he he didn't really didn't really get into the mythos around this dude, so he can yeah. kind of do whatever. I guess he's just kind Maybe of a he has chinker. wizard robes. <laughs> he's not magical at all, but he still wears them. He's very he noticed is a kind of magic. Well, <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah, he wears his. He's got a dumb uh, robe. Um, it's Rocky Balboa. Oh, that's mean. JK. I mean, yeah, I, no, it looks good I, on I, you. I pitched in for that gift, so I should. I literally wore it at my wedding reception. It was very good, yes. No, he's got a wizard robe, but he also I has. That was a big mistake when you punched your dad. Knockout, but you know. Yeah. That's how they do it in the that. Ackerman yep. family. You got to punch out the bride's father, That you just got to take him out classic yeah old-fashioned if you if you ask me um <laughs> yeah it's true what if he he's got wizard robes but then he's got like i for some reason he i imagine he's got like do you remember that helmet that was worn by uh i forget his name in honey i shrunk the kid magneto no <laughs> And honey, I shrunk the Bill, kids. The, the dad Bill. wore this helmet that had like magnifying glasses on it. it. Looks like a real inventor like helmet. Oh, you, did you mean Wayne Zelinsky? Yeah, that was the character played by, of course, what's his name? Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. Is that that's his name? Rick Ross. Basically, I just yeah, imagine Rick wearing, Ross. <laughs> uh, I just imagine him wearing a helmet that's like real inventor like. But also with the wizard robes. <laughs> with the wizard yeah. robes, of course, yeah. And he's got a staff and a wrench. Is the is the wrench on the staff? Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's very good. It's like a big monkey wrench on top, and he just uses it. <laughs> um, it's very what's good. the comic book cover look like then? Could be Nick Cage shooting him. <laughs> <laughs> Give away the end. <laughs> <laughs> Gives it away. Um, maybe like. A uh, shot somehow of like the kids going under the lasers, and then somehow you frame it such that you can see he's sort of control mind controlling them from a distance while they do it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Or looking onward as a kid picks up the doll and is hypnotized, and they have like the their eyes are a different color, so you know that they're hypnotized. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I feel like we need to have the dolls in it somehow. 
They're holding a doll. One of the few kids. Yeah. I think holding the doll is a good way to do it. And what's that in the distance on top of a building? It's the flash of a scope. (laughs) Already he's hunting. (laughs) He's going to shoot these kids. All right. And name. (laughs) Uh, We already got Nick Cage. Uh, But what's this guy named? Doll, Uh, Doll wizard. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. I, I like Dumbledore more than the other one. <laughs> then Dumbledore? Yeah, yeah, I don't understand why. It rolls off the tongue. So good. Toy Wizard. Gandalf the. Uh, God. <laughs> white. D- Doll Weasley. <laughs> Dolly Parton. <laughs> um. Yeah, this guy just so really good. hates Dolly Parton. Uh, one hundred and one Dalmatians. Classic. Uh, what if it wasn't Doll? What else is Hypno. there? Hypno. Okay. Oh. Hypno. Hypno toys. Hi- Hypno toyser. I think he's a hypnotizer. Ooh. Oh, I okay. do like that. Yeah. It's it's something. Hypnotoiser. <laughs> Hypnotoiser. I do, like, I do genuinely like yeah. that. <laughs> I think so. I think that's it. Hypnotoiser. Okay. There we go. Then uh, fuck yeah, we did it. Sorry, mom. She's not. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, Tanner, do you want to play us out? Yeah. Sure. Um. So this is going to conclude issue number 118 of Headline Heroes. This week we created the villain, the Hypno-Toyser, and backdoor piloted the hero, uh, Nick Cage, as the cleaner. Um, At this time, as always, we'd like to thank Brett Jacobson for creating the art for our show. Uh, Fun fact about Brett is he owns every single Barbie doll ever made, and uh, none of them are removed from their box, so they're worth, like... Well, he claims they're worth money. I don't know. He might just have a weird thing with them. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, he's very cagey about the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we also want to thank Carl Sorensen. Carl did the music for this podcast and helps us with all the post production of the audio. If you're interested in working with Carl on any sort of musical project, maybe you need some uh, theme for your podcast or you need some help with the audio on it, you can reach out to him at carljsorensen.com. Uh, if you come across any articles, that you think are funny, that you think are great, please send them our way. Uh, I guess I'll put this out there now. Uh, Our Halloween episode will be issue number 120. Uh, So if you come across any spooky headlines, we'd love to have them uh, to use for that episode. You can send them to us through our Twitter at headline underscore heroes, our email headline heroes cast at gmail.com. We have our Facebook group and of course the subreddit, which is it's been a while since I've said it, but guys, it's bumping. Yeah. So if you want to call in, our number is through a nine five nine six six seven six six. It'd be awesome if you could leave a voicemail for us. Uh, we'd love to play it on here, talk about it, discuss, I suppose, it, whatever you're listening to us on, be it iTunes or Apple or Google, Google Play. If you could give us a rating or review, um, hit the subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. Uh, tell a friend about us. And finally, thank you for listening. We hope you'll pick up the next issue of Headline Heroes. Headline Heroes.